Today's lesson is all about how to calculate markup percentage. So what is markup? Markup means your tubo. So how to calculate markup percentage? Markup is the difference between how much an item costs you and how much you sell that item. It's your profit per item. Any person working in business or retail will find the skill of being able to calculate markup percentage very valuable. Now, how are we going to calculate? First, calculate your pencil markup. This is done by subtracting your buying price from your selling price. For example, your selling price will be 15 pesos and you bought the item for 10 pesos therefore you will have a peso markup of about 5 pesos so 5 pesos ang tubo mo kumita ka ng 5 pesos step number 2 decide whether you want to calculate your percentage markup based on cost or selling price once you choose which you will be using to calculate, it is important that you stick to the method you choose throughout all your calculations or you will end up with faulty data. If you decide to calculate your percentage markup based on cost, go on to step 3. If you decide to calculate your percent markup based on selling price, go on to step number 4. Now, step number three, if you decide to calculate your uh, peso markup based on cost, this is done by dividing the peso markup by the cost. For example, your peso markup is five pesos. You purchase the item on about ten pesos. So, you divide it to... 5 pesos. So your percentage markup will be 50% or 0.5. And if you calculate your percentage markup based on selling price, that is number 4, this is done by dividing the peso markup by the selling price. For example, your peso markup, your tubo is 5 pesos. And your selling price is 15 pesos, so you will divide it to the 5 pesos, your peso markup. So, your percentage markup will be 0.33 or 33%. Number 5, make sure you consistently use either cost of the product or selling price to find the percent markup on an item. Even though the cost, selling price, and peso markup will always be the same, the percentage markup will be drastically different depending on if you calculate it using selling price or cost. Using selling price will give you a lower percentage markup, assuming you are making a profit, while using cost will give you a higher percentage markup. Okay, so that's how short our lesson is for today. So now let us reflect and let's see if we understood the lesson. So we have activity number one. Calculate the markup percentage. Directions. Given the following recipe, like for example, Maha Blanca and its estimated cost compute for the total purchase cost and impose a 50% markup to determine the selling price of your product. So what are the ingredients of uh, Maha Blanca? So we have 2 cups cornstarch. The price is 20 pesos. We have 2 cups white sugar and the price is 25 pesos. We have 7 cups cocoa milk and the price is 50 pesos. And 1 cup evaporated milk and the price is 20 pesos. 1 half cup shredded buko and the price is 25 pesos. 
one teaspoon of vanilla and it cost you five pesos for a total of 145 pesos now compute the selling price so you have the formula as you can see total cost plus your peso markup will be your selling price Another activity, compute the percentage markup. Direction, complete the following table with the necessary information. So we have five columns here. As you can see, there are some missing information with our fourth and fifth column. So you will base your answer based on the three columns that are given okay for the items we have bibinka suman puto sa pinsa pen halaya so you have the purchase cost or buying price and then you also have its selling price so you will compute the peso markup and the percentage markup so how much is the peso markup and how much is its percentage markup. For your activity number three, in a one whole sheet of paper, write your thoughts about the importance of entrepreneurship. What does one need to consider in putting up a business? What important quality of a person he should have?